Hello and welcome to this video in which we will analyze the forces in a six joint truss. So there's a truss here with six joints. What we want to find is the tension in all of the members of the truss. So to begin with, we're going to label all of the junctions so that we can keep track of things. So we'll call this A, B, C, D, E, and F. And we also want to uh, number each of the members, just to make it easy to keep track of what we're computing. So we'll have this be number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so we've got um, our truss labeled, the members numbered. Let's go ahead and solve the problem. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the reaction forces. Uh, we'll have, if you look at the way uh, our truss is attached to some, I guess, some solid surface over here. Whoops, we'll draw this in. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that we need to have a horizontal force, we can call this FAX, a vertical force, call this FAY, and another horizontal force on the bottom down here. Uh, we have no vertical force because this joint is on rollers. We'll call this FDX. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is a free body diagram of the entire truss to find these reaction forces. So um, let's go to a somewhat tidier version of this. Redraw these forces that we're trying to find. FAX, FAY, FDX. Okay, so um, we now uh, can apply the three uh, static equilibrium conditions. The first is that the sum of the moments is equal to zero. And I think I will uh, sum the moments about point A because FAX and FAY go through point A. By using the moments about point A, we'll be able to get FDX from uh, the expression directly. So the sum of the moments is equal to zero. These again are moments about A. So about A we have a 3,000 pound force with a lever arm of 24 feet. Actually I'm sorry that's 30,000 pounds. And then we have uh, FDX, this force here, with a lever arm of 18 feet. And we can solve this for FDX. And uh, when we solve this for FDX, we get that FDX is 40,000 pounds. OK. Um, so the next thing to do is the sum of the forces in the x direction, and these are equal to zero. In the x direction, we have minus FAX minus FDX is equal to zero. Those are all of the horizontal forces, which means then that FAX is the negative of FDX. So uh, FAX is uh, negative 40,000 pounds. So basically this joint is pulling this direction while this joint is indeed pushing this direction. Okay, and summing all the y's, we have um, FAY minus 30,000 pounds is equal to zero, and this then tells us that F 
a y is equal to 30,000 pounds. Okay, so by doing a free body diagram of the entire truss, we now have the reaction forces and we can um, start uh, going through the truss joint by joint and finding the tensions in each of the members. So uh, let's start then at uh, joint A and look at the forces we have. We have FAX and FAY which we've just solved for. We will have the tension in member one and the tension in member two. So if we go to a, uh, a clean space to draw and draw our free body diagram, we will have um, FAX acting on the pin at joint one, F a y the tension in member 2 and the tension in member 1 okay now um, one thing we didn't look at yet which we need to in order to compute the tension in member 1 is this angle here uh, we have an angle where we uh, go over 12 feet and have a distance here of 6 feet. So this angle is going to be the inverse tangent of 6 feet over 12 feet, which when you compute this is 26.6 degrees. Okay, so this angle is 26.6, then it turns out this one, uh, because it has the same geometry, is also 26.6. These guys are 26.6, and this one is 26.6. Uh, one other set of angles that we need to compute would be this one. And here we go over 12 feet and up 12 feet. So I'll leave it to you to believe or verify for yourself that this is an angle of 45 degrees. OK, so with this, we can now go back and actually write out our set of equations that we'll get from joint A. If we look at the sum of the forces in the x direction, we have minus FAX minus T1 cosine 26.6 degrees, because this angle here is 26.6. And that's all the uh, horizontal forces, so we can set this equal to zero. We know what FAX is, so T1 is actually the only unknown in this equation. The summation of FY, we have then FAY minus T2 minus T1 sine 26.6 degrees, and that's equal to zero. Okay. Now, I could immediately start solving um, this equation for T1 and then plug the value for T1 that I get in here to solve for T2. But uh, rather than do that, what I'm going to do is just collect all of the equations I get. I, I'm going to have nine unknowns. I've got nine members, and so I'll have to find the tension in nine, un in nine members, which will be nine unknowns. So I'm just going to start collecting equations until I've got nine equations and hope I can solve for the nine unknowns. Um, and rather than do it uh, bit by bit, uh, my goal is just to use a uh, uh, solver of simultaneous linear equations. And in fact, I won't even show that being done. I'll just write down the solution. But so this gives us two equations that we can now collect. So we'll get a collection window going here. We have that um, minus cosine of 20, oops, 26.6 degrees times T1 is equal to um, minus 
40,000 pounds. Okay, that was the first equation we've got. I've rearranged it a little bit. Um, and then we have, so I'll call this equation, say, star 1. And then the next equation we'll get um, would be that um, minus sine 26.6 degrees T1 minus T2 is equal to minus 30,000 pounds. And we'll call this equation star 2. Okay. So again, where these equations come from is um, I look at this, I, I, I got this uh, uh, free body diagram of the pin, wrote these guys out, and I plugged in the numbers I know for FAX and FAY. I've done a little bit of rearranging. Okay, so that's joint A. We only have six more joints to go. So let's go back and uh, look at joint B for a moment. Okay, joint B is going to be this guy right here. And I'm going to have T1, T3, T9, and T5 acting on, on this joint. So let's go write down what the free body diagram for this joint will look like. So this is joint B. So we have something that looks like this, if this is the pin. So this is T1, this is T2, this is T9, and this is T5. And this angle here is 26.6. This one's 26.6, and this angle here is 45. Okay, well, let's sum the forces in the x direction. So I sum the forces in the x direction. And so we'll have then T1 cosine 26.6 degrees. That's basically this angle right here plus T2 cosine 45 degrees minus T5 oops, cosine 26.6 degrees is equal to 0. And we'll call this equation star 3. So we're going to copy it over to our other page in just a second. The summation Fy is equal to 0. We have T1 sine 26.6 degrees. Here I'm going to have to make space because this just isn't going to fit the way I've got it started. Okay, so we'll have T1 sine 26.6 degrees minus T2 sine 45 degrees minus T9, minus T5, sine 26.6 degrees is equal to 0. Okay, and we'll call this star 4. Okay, I'm out of time for this first video. In the second video, we'll uh, go through the rest of the joints, uh, probably not go through each one of them individually on screen, but we'll go through the rest of the joints and get the set of equations that we need to solve. So stay tuned for part 2.